There's been a lot of talks recently about the archetype system and if the archetype system should come back in NBA 2K20. And there's a lot of discussions. I've seen a lot of polls. I've seen actually Asian put up a poll recently saying should archetypes even come back, keep archetypes, remove archetypes. And it seemed like more people were saying remove archetypes. Now that's a pretty a lot of people took this poll actually. So the fact that more people want the archetype system to be removed, there's gotta be some legitimate reasoning. And you know, we've had the archetype system in 2K17, 2K18, and 2K19. So it's been three years of this. And like the park, listen, the park in 2K16 wasn't like the park in 2K17. I mean, the park each year in the neighborhood has gotten progressively better. It's gotten better. There's been new things in the neighborhood. It's been, I mean, I know some people still miss the three rival parks, you know, the Sunset Beach Ballers or Old Town, you know, Rivals or whatever, or was it the River City Wealth Riders? I know some people miss that. They miss those days of NBA 2K. But like I said, I hated those days of NBA 2K because if you were an Old Town Flyer, you were the only player for Old Town Flyer. Probably the dumbest thing 2K has ever done in a video game to divide the community because you got people on different you know rival teams that couldn't play with each other even though they're on their friends even though they're friends that can't play with each other because they're on different rivals that was stupid for 2k to do but like i said the park has become become progressively better prime has become more redefined uh of course we need the original prime or we need the original jordan wreck back because the, the wreck that they have this year is stupid doesn't really make any sense. I still like that it's matchmaking, but the way it's formatted and the way you come into the arena and you got other courts playing at the same time, it's it's nonsense. It's not necessary. It's nonsense. But here's my thoughts on this whole archetype system, right? I'm not opposed to actually removing the archetypes. I know I've loved the lockdown defender. I've loved the shot crater. I've used every single archetype you can think of from 2K17 to 2K19. I love the archetype system. Listen, in 2K17, it was so brand new. It was fresh. It was crazy. It was interesting because you had the slashers, the lockdowns. You had a lot of shit going on. You had a lot of trash talk between different archetypes. You had slashers versus rim protectors. I mean, we did a whole bunch of stuff on this channel about archetypes. But it was a fun year, especially with the park, the way it was formatted and the way it was set that year. It was overall a very fun year. Of course, there's always gameplay quirks each year in 2K. Even with 2K19, there's gameplay quirks. But the gameplay this year is actually kind of solid if you think about it. Compared to the previous 2Ks, this, this 2K19, on a lot of levels, it's really, really setting the standard for 2K games. Like a lot of people maybe may, may not like, like 2K19, but you can't lie. 2K19 is actually a pretty great game. Now there's of course things that 2K can improve upon, but that's why there's gonna be a 2K20, and that's why each new year the devs are always asking. Even though right now it's interesting, ever since I guess maybe 2K17, NBA 2K has not shown any gameplay at E3. And we know 2K20 this year comes out September 6th, so right now it's June 23. They have some time to make some changes into the game, but I think for them to actually either keep the archetype system or completely remove the archetype system, I think that conversation needed to happen like maybe one or two months ago. At least one month ago. You know, at, at most one month ago because at least one month ago, you can actually try to build the system and actually have time to even flesh it out and make sure it's solid before the game arrives. And think about it. The game arrives September 6th. That means, I mean, the game is basically done in about two. I mean, in, in one month, the game is going to be done. And then in August, the game is going to go go. It's going to be shipped out across the whole entire world. And 2K is going to come alive. So here's my thoughts, right? Like I said, I'm not opposed to them removing the archetype system. Not even opposed to keeping the archetype system. But I think if they were to remove the archetype system, it would definitely be a breath of fresh air. Because we would have the new gameplay with 2K along with the new neighborhood in 2k and then we'd have kind of the 2k 16 system where you could choose an inbound an inside score outside score or you can make even a balanced player 
I think that would be an interesting thing because you know these archetypes it's been fun while it's lasted right but I feel like at this point we're doing the same thing every year and 2k it's not like 2k has changed the rep system I mean 2k has been doing the th I want the original rep system from 2K17, man. I think that rep system was dope. I don't like this rep system is. I don't like the way you gotta buy VC for each of your players. I really don't like that about this 2K. I want that system back from 2K17, man. That system, to me, was what made 2K17. 2K17, the ability for you to use whatever you got on one player, on each one of your players, man. And the thing about 2K17, which I want to be brought back in 2K20, being able to choose the attributes you want to upgrade. That's all I care about. Give power to the player. You gotta give power to the player, 2K. You gotta allow us to use VC and be able to keep the same clothing on each of our builds. You gotta allow us to use the same things we achieve from playing games on one build on another build and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking about any attribute boost or anything like that I'm simply talking about cosmetics apparel things you get like the mascot you got a 99 overall lockdown defender who can only use a mascot on his lockdown when he has other players he can use he should be rewarded to be using use that on all of his players but anyways man like I said I'm not opposed to whether they keep or stay I just think they need to get power to the play, but I do have one interesting thing, right? And listen to this idea. Maybe they kind of bring back the archetype system, right? But instead of making it so that each archetype has a set defined role where it's a defender and just a lockdown defender and that they're playing defense only, maybe make it, and probably this sounds like the, the archetype system for 2K18 and 2K19, but maybe make it so that each archetype can actually do a variety of things. Like, listen, a playmaker can still shoot, but their shooting is going to be average. Their defense is going to be average. Everything else is going to be average, but their playmaking is going to be at its highest. Meaning they'll have the best passing, the best ball control, and the best speed with ball. You know, I think 2K, maybe instead of going back and doing inside outside score or even doing the dual archetype system maybe just do the original archetype system maybe that's the problem to balance the game is that we have all these dual archetypes and i know everyone likes the dual archetypes like the sharp shooting glass cleaner but maybe we need to redefine the roles and maybe that's becoming too bare bones but just think about it man playmakers would still be able to do everything average but they're just the best at playmaking. Then you got the sharpshooter, who's great at sharpshooting, average at everything else. I mean, this is the same thing as 2K17, which maybe most of you probably don't want that again, but it's just an idea, man. But anyways, man, like I said, I don't care which system they go with. I honestly kind of like both systems. I just want the power to the play, man. Let me choose the attributes I want to upgrade, and I'll be fine. Other than that, let me know what you think in the comment section. Leave a like for more. I'm off for now. Peace.